Welcome to our lecture online and here's example number four of how to do integration by parts. Now here's an interesting example. The integral of x squared e to the x dx. Usually the methodology of the integration by parts allows you to get rid of things that prevent you from integrating. For example, e to the x dx is easily integratable but with the x squared there you can do it. So you can get rid of the x squared by using integration by parts, but it turns out here in this case we'll probably have to do it twice. The first time we could probably reduce this to a single x and then the second time we can get rid of the x. So see how that works. So we're going to let this here be u and we're going to let this here be dv. So then let u equals x squared. So du will then be 2x dx and then our dv will be equal to e to the x dx and of course when we integrate e to the x dx we simply get e to the x and then we substitute that back into our integral or at least we set it equal to our integral so this is equal to u times v so u is x squared v is e to the x minus the integral of v du and v is e to the x and the du is 2x times dx. And notice we can always of course take the two outside integral sign. Now we have instead of x squared e to the x dx we now have x e to the x dx. We actually were managed to take x squared and turn it into an x but then of course we still cannot integrate it. We'll have to do this again a second time to get rid of the x. So simplifying this first we get x squared times e to the x minus 2 times x e to the x dx and then we do this whole thing a second time. We let u equal dx right here, <coughs> excuse me, so du will be equal to dx and we let e to the x dx be dv, e to the x dx and then v will then be the integral of that which is e to the x plus a constant of integration but we'll leave that out till the very end. So here's our u and here's our dv, so this here is our u, this here is our dv and then we say this is equal to x squared e to the x minus 2 times this and this cannot be rewritten using that formula u which is x times dv, uh, no u times v which is e to the x minus the integral of v which is e to the x times du which is dx and notice the second time we got rid of x altogether and now we can easily integrate that. Don't forget that this minus 2 applies to everything that's here so now we're going to write this as x squared e to the x minus 2 times this so minus 2 times x e to the x and then minus 2 times the minus becomes plus 2 times the integral of e to the x and of course the integral of e to the x is e to the x and then of course we still have our constant of integration. Now can we simplify this? I think we can. We have an e to the x in each term here so we can factor it out so this can be written as e to the x times we're left with an x squared. We're left with a minus 2x over here and then we're left with a positive 2 over here and then the constant of integration and this is the integral of our original x squared e to the x dx. Now notice we have to do this twice and again notice the method we want to get rid of the x squared somehow we got rid of the first x using the first application of the integration by parts then we got rid of the second x by doing it a second time the x was gone we could then integrate e to the x and that's how you do that.